This Muslim poses a Jew to lie about Judaism in this viral interview. When we think of Judaism, we think of Masonry, Zionism, Illuminati. Do you know anything about these? Do Jews see other people as second-class citizens? Wow, those outrageous questions were actually the opening scenes to this chilling interview. What's particularly concerning is that it was produced by Towards Eternity, a verified Islamic YouTube channel with over 4 million subscribers. They chose these offensive questions as many of their viewers actually believe these dangerous stereotypes about Jews. They're doing it for the views. They're peddling hate for views. Let me play the next clip to show you. You shall not kill. This is in order for all Jews. You shall not kill your brother in religion, but you can kill a Muslim. His blood is your right. This is a shameless lie. Judaism categorically forbids the killing of innocent people. Our religion teaches anyone who murders a human being transgresses the law. Any human being, Jewish or Muslim, Nothing in this video is backed by sources. It's all fabricated, like this next clip. You accepted Islam and became a Muslim. What are the things you could not accept in Judaism? There's something called Yom Kippur. In Islam, we fast for 30 days. In Israel, you fast for one day a year. The duration of fast is 24 hours on average. You're not allowed to wash your hands during this fast. It's funny and weird. You can eat, but you're not allowed to wash your hands. Wait, did he just say Jews can eat on Yom Kippur? You can eat, but you're not allowed to wash your hands. What a fake. Seriously, a five-year-old child knows that you can't eat or drink for 25, not 24 hours on Yom Kippur. I don't know who this guy is, but he's obviously not Jewish. And they've deliberately kept his identity anonymous, so none of these lies can be verified. And while this lie about Yom Kippur exposed them as a fraud, the next lie is far more chilling. At the end of the fast, everyone says to each other, Hatimatova. Everybody says these words. What do they mean? Good signings. But one day I asked, I said, what is this Hatimatova? Why are you saying this to each other? Someone said, this is something in our religion. For 364 days of 365 days a year, we can kill as many children as we want. We can cheat as much as we want. We kill, we beat, we detonate, we lie to people. Then we have a day where we fast. At the end of that day, we submit everything we did in that year to Allah. And He signs our deeds. He forgives all our sins. We become like newborn children. That is why we rejoice. This is a deeply offensive lie. It's a modern day blood libel broadcast to 4 million people. The phrase Gamach Etimatova simply means may you be sealed for a good year. It has nothing, absolutely nothing, to do with violence or other immoral actions. The idea that Jews think that they can go around doing heinous acts all year and then be forgiven by simply fasting for one day is a complete fabrication, just like this next clip. Is it true that you can't become a Jew? You cannot become a believer in Judaism if you are from another religion. This is true. This guy is such a fake. Seriously, I cannot stress this enough. You know Ruth from the Bible, from the Torah? Well, she was a convert and her great-grandson is King David, and the Jewish Messiah is going to descend from her. People have always been able to convert to Judaism. This guy is a complete fraud, and now that we've exposed he knows nothing about Judaism, let's see what he has to say about Zionism. A Jew thinks, according to my faith, this is from the word Zion, so my freedom, I will be the master of this world, and all mankind shall serve the Jews. This is the Zionist plan. The Zionist plan was simply the establishment of a Jewish state in Israel, nothing more. As for the word Zion, well that just means Jerusalem. But anyway, let's hear him describe this so-called plan. Under this plan, a child who dies of thirst or hunger in Africa is also a part of that plan. A person who watches any television channel today is also a part of that plan. Because Zionism is for controlling not Israel, but everywhere else. If I want to rule the world, I have to control the money first. I have to control the food industry. I have to control medicine and weapons. 80 years ago, such repulsive and baseless accusations were published in Der Sturmer. Today, they're published on YouTube. And these dangerous stereotypes fuel real-world violence against Jews. And then the interviewer has the audacity to infer that it's Jews that are prejudiced. Do Jews see other people as inferior? The Zionists see it that way. 
This is something mostly related to Zionism. They say, any person following any religion other than Judaism, they are created to serve us. To kill them, to oppress them, is a good deed for us and even rewarding. This is a blatant lie. Let me quote Ben Gurion, Israel's first prime minister, one of the most important Zionists of all time. In the Jewish state, Jews will not have any right that is denied to Arabs, Greeks or Armenians if they are residents and citizens of the state. Every citizen, Jewish, Arab or any other, will be eligible to be elected to be president, prime minister, a justice of the high court or any other government office. While Jews are banned from these positions in many Muslim countries, Zionism promotes equality for all of its citizens, which he would know if he'd actually lived in Israel like he claims. An Israeli person asked me, why are you a Muslim? I said, I believe in Islam. What are you doing here? How are you here? How did you get citizenship if you are a Muslim? I see that you're not Palestinian. I said, my mother is an Israeli citizen. He's Israeli? If he'd just spent five minutes in Israel, he'd know that this next claim is complete nonsense. Even though it is an invalid religion, Israel is governed by the laws of the Torah. This is pure fiction. You can literally buy pork in Israeli supermarkets. Israel is a democratic country governed by secular law, not Torah law. But his next remarks about Israel are far more chilling. While we were on the bus, sirens started. We were in a central area of Israel. It turns out Hamas fired three to four hundred rockets. Tel Aviv, Ramatgan is close to the heart of Israel. Hamas has never fired such a number of rockets. At that moment, I felt happy because I saw the fear in the eyes of the Jews firsthand. I saw the fear that they deserve. He thinks Jews deserve to be afraid. This monster is literally ecstatic that they're firing rockets at Jewish civilians and they are a prescribed group. This is not a free speech matter. This is incitement and it's been broadcast to millions and millions of people.